The first question you're always asked is, have you ridden in the Grand National? You know, how have you got on in the Grand National? It's never about any other part of your career. You are more aware of the history in, in that race than in any other. Um, and it was always part of our family's history. Cloth Cap this season has been, been a revelation. He flew round, Cloth Cap and Tom Scudamore have won. It was great winning the Labrick on him, um, and ultimately he won very well. I'm extremely proud of everything that uh, my grandfather and father have achieved. If I could win the Grand National, it would be the pinnacle of, of my career so far, without, without a shadow of a doubt. Aintree was it incomparable self. Very well fancied was Oxo, Mike Scudamore up. Dad used to tell me about Oxo, and when you look at that old film of Oxo, you know, he was brought to win a national, and that's what it was all about, you know. Eight-year-old Oxo, exercising here in the competent hands of Michael Scudamore, was the horse picked to win you the Grand National. I've just seen some footage of Oxo schooling at home in colour, which is absolutely fantastic because it seems to bring all these uh, people back to life again. Granddad winning the Grand National was something I was obviously very aware of from, a, from an early age. Um, everywhere we seemed to go was, you know, this is Michael Scudamore, winner of the Grand National. And, you know, it didn't define him as a man, but um, you know, we, we all took great pride in him, him being a Grand National winner. It was incredible. He's one of the most famous nationals of all time because the second horse, Tim Brookshaw, he breaks his leather. And if you can see the film of Pathé, on Pathé News of him landing over beaches, they land together and you can see Tim turn across to Dad and he says, look, Michael, no irons, we'll be on the pictures now. <laughs> I, I can't remember when I first saw it, saw it visually. I, I, I had it ingrained in my mind by all the stories of what had happened. Dad passed away a few years ago. I wish I could hear the stories one more time, you know. I think Grandad might have given Dad a little bit of a rib tickling every now and again that he never won the national. But growing up, Dad was champion jockey eight times. When he went somewhere with him and Grandad, you know, they'd all flock to Dad and say, you know, you know champion jockey eight times. How many times you won the Grand National? I've never actually won it. You know, Grandad would always pop up. <laughs> I've won it once. One of the proudest moments was only a few months ago. Thomas and Michael won the Oxo Chase, and I got a picture of them with a cup. Um, so it, it is something that, you know, the family, it's not me, are, are immensely proud of it. My earliest memory of the Grand National would have been uh, Ryman Reason winning it in 1988. It's the first time I ever went up to Liverpool to watch the National, uh, and my father fell in front, jumping beaches for it the second time round. We ride to the plan that Dad taught us, the schooner was right to the plan that Dad taught us. I couldn't carry it out, but I knew how to ride around the Grand National. Grandad gave a lot of advice to the Scudamore was about many things and, and the Grand National, how to ride the Grand National was, was always there. Dad always went down the outer. The year I fell, uh, with strands of gold, I went down the inner. <laughs> so I, I was never forgiven and I turned over at beaches down the inner, but ah, look, you know, that, that's life. The run does not as orders, they're off. So when Earth Summit won it in 1998, uh, Dad was assistant trainer at the time to Nigel Twiston Davis. Both Dad and uh, Grandad had bought Earth Summit as a store horse. Here comes Earth Summit and he is over safely under Carl Llewellyn, trained by Nigel Twiston Davis. We went into business with Nigel Twiston Davis and we had Earth Summit. <laughs> and he was a delightful horse. He won a Scottish National, a Welsh National, the National. It's Earth Summit, the Summit partnership successful. What a story. He's won the Welsh, he's won the Scottish, and now he takes the Martel Grand National. Earth Summit played a, played a huge part uh, in some of my, my upbringing. <laughs> to finally sort of be loosely involved in the Grand National winner um, brought so much joy to all the family. One for Arthur. It was almost too much to wish that he could win. The final fence, one for Arthur, jump through to take over. They're racing towards the elbow in the national and it's one for Arthur, out in front for an historic Scottish success. Father had just died um, and I remember having the pieces of his clothing and it was just like a memento, I suppose, just, just a lucky charm. Only the second ever Scottish trade winner of the national, one for Arthur for Derek Fox and Lucinda Russell, win the national. When one for Arthur won the Grand National, 
I think it was the pride that, that Dad had in Lucinda. Every Grand National winner is planned, but you know, they 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 done a fantastic job with him. And um, the fact I think his granddaughters were there for the first time as well, so he managed to drag them up onto the podium. You know, I remember being so so proud of what they'd achieved, and it was a very memorable day. The you know, cloth cap is a totally different horse to one for Arthur. Um, you know, Thomas is 38 years of old age. He's ridden in more Grand Nationals than I have. He's a better jockey than I am. Obviously, he's never run around the national fences before. Um, you don't know how he's going to take to it, but I'd be very confident that you know, he's got the bravery and the intelligence that you need for around there. He ticks all the boxes. He's ran very well in the Coral Scottish National over four miles, where he was really staying on well at the end, so I don't see the trip being a problem. But, I can talk as much as I like. He's got to go and go and do it. Lost Cap and Tom Scudamore come down towards the last fence. They've flown it. He's flown every fence in this race. Cloth Cap and Tom Scudamore then in the closing stages of the Labrooks Trophy are well clear. His biggest strength is that if the if the handicapper had his say again tomorrow, uh, he'd be framing the rates fourteen pound against us, which is you know, a lot of weight to have up our sleeve. Um, the one thing I can't predict is is, is the luck of the race. Cloth Cap is. You know, pretty much a British thing. Fantastic, it's owned by Trevor Hemmings, who wears a cloth cap. Trained by John Joe O'Neill, one of our great heroes. Making the approach to the final fence in the Bet365 Premier Chase. Cloth cap is over safely. It is cloth cap with Tom Scudamore taking a leisurely look behind. And no doubt this will be pleasing him as cloth cap for John Joe O'Neill and Trevor Hemmings enhances his Grand National credentials in great style by making all. With Thomas going the cloth cap, Huge expectation, but trying to keep yourself uh, on the ground. It's probably worse watching your son than doing it yourself. <laughs> well, Cloth Cap would have been bought with the Grand National in mind. Um, he's got the right, right, right man training him, and um, hopefully all I've got to do is point him in the right direction. It's an old cliche, but I wouldn't swap him for anything. If I could win the Grand National, it would certainly be the pinnacle of, of my career so far. I'm immensely proud of what all my family have achieved, and, and I know they're proud of what I've done so far, um, but I wouldn't mind making them a little bit prouder by winning the Grand National.